Hi everyone, Cinder here. Welcome back to Octopath Traveler. Let's play a game. What are you two doing? Are those cards? That's right. We're about to play a game. Oh, Cyrus. You should join us, Ophelia. That sounds like fun, but I have no idea how to play. Not to worry, we can explain the rules to you. It'll be a nice little break for all of us. Well, if you are offering, how could I refuse? And that's how it started. What we thought would be a nice little break. Uh-oh. <laughs> turned into something that we never expected. <laughs> the Eight of Swords and three of them, no less. A promising hand. Tis easy to know Tress's hand, for she shows her delight and dismay plainly on her face. The problem is, what does Ophelia have? <laughs> her constant smile makes her impossible to read. She must have a tell, but I've yet to find it. <laughs> well, even the very astute professor cannot find a tell, because she just smiles the whole time. Well, I have two pairs, three of swords and five of cups. G good hand. I have three of a kind, eight of swords. I assume they're playing uh, poker. <laughs> I got four of the same. Six of staffs, right? Uh. Unbelievable! Ophelia wins again! A deft player, to be sure. How do you do it, Ophelia? <laughs> I just let the flame guide me. I see. You eschew greed and let nature take its course. Let nature take its course? What kind of strategy is that? We all have that choice. Fight for what you desire, or let the chips fall where they may. Ah, <laughs> some people just have all the luck. Hi. Their patron. Okay, we're gonna look around town, see what we can find. We need to have. Whoop. <laughs> we need to have Therion in the group anyway. Oh, he's only level 25. That's not going to be fun. Uh, we need to unequip Primrose. I'll give her Gideon's dagger. What other rods do we have? Okay, that's fine. Viper dagger. Fine blade. Pretty good. Uh, the rest of the, the rest of the stuff's okay. We lose all the evasion, but you know what? More defense. Starlight hat. Uh, no, we'll keep with keep with that. Uh, we'll keep with the rest of that. Mainly the dagger. I wanted to switch, and also he needs to have. The dancer class, so we could moonlight walk or uh, sorry, peacock strut and all that. Okay. Again, we're gonna take a look around town. Man, can't scrutinize anybody. Let me save, and we'll get started with our look around town before we start Therion's chapter four. Also, I said I was going to do that one side quest back in the previous town. Um, we're going to skip that for now. I may go back and do it. I want to make some more progress here. Mercenary. Let's see. A hidden item. That would be awesome to have. I may try to get that or may just buy it. Might be expensive. Energizing pomegranate large would be good. Olive life large would also be really good. Okay, I want all those. 80 SP. Wow. We've not seen that. Platinum sword. 166, 92 speed. Not a bad sword. We have better. Okay. Huh. Okay. 
There's no stairs there. Okay. Discount at the end. That's good. There's our 50% discount. After every little thing save, I never really went over that, so hopefully you figured that out by now. Whenever you do anything with a chance. Snowy cape. I can sell it. I want that massively increased elemental attack. I know who that's getting going to. Joshua's poem. Restores HP and SP to a single ally. Ice amulet. Good day. You know a man named Joshua? He's quite special to me. I hope he's well. Maybe we can find him. Good day. Uh, here's Miles. We have met again, my friend. It's I, Sir Miles of the Knights are done. I've been newly posted to this town in my service to the faith, and I have heard rumors. Rumors that a sword once, belongs, once belonging to my father remains still in this town. I hope I'll be able to at least glimpse it before I might be sent on my next mission. Happen to find that sword, please, you must let me know. So we're going to take a look at that as we find it along the way. Like somebody has it. Fool's gold ore. Syllable. Another permanent stat boosting item. That's awesome. Uh, empty coin pouch. Energizing pomegranate. Cool, got them. 80% still has a chance to fail. Like that. <laughs> Same again. Doing good so far. This person out here only has a 60% chance to scrutinize. All of life medium. HP, MP, 1,000 max HP. You know what? I would really like to have that. <laughs> yeah. Failed. Oh, got it that time. New weapons for sale. Nice. Okay, I was waiting for that. That's worth the hit. Let's see what they've got. Sorry, weapons. Silver filled pouch. Other uh, swimper shop. Refined sword, Trinity sword, two twenty-two, physical attack and a hundred speed. Cool. It's pretty good. Skybreaker dagger, bunch of crit. Doombreaker dagger, even more crit and physical attack. Yeti's longbow, physical attack critical. Silent Bandana. A bunch of evasion. That's kind of better than what Therion has. The Starlight Hat, which unfortunately is not a super powerful ultimate hat. As it should be. <laughs> Starlight being the uh, channel mascot. Physical Defense, Elemental Defense, Evasion. Again, it's close to what Therion's wearing. And it give him a bunch of evasion. I might gear him out with this. Platinum vest. Again, not bad. Dragon vest, which we do have one. That's what Ulbrich is wearing. He's worn that for quite a while. And critical. I'm going to buy a silent bandana. And a silent cape. We're gonna do that. I'm gonna sell some stuff here. Get some money back. There we go. That's pretty much you know. Alright, that's all the money we have, so gotta keep that in mind. Nothing more to sell for cash. Well, it's a few old equipment, but most of the stuff we've sold now. Not bad gear here. Memorial sword. That's what we need. And a spirit and plum medium. Purifying seed, olive bloom. Alright. That looks to be everything here. 
we took a look at all the NPCs. North Reach, Lorne Cathedral. Calver. Healing Great Medium, Energizing Pomegranate Medium. None. That seems to be it. So I'm going to cut the video here. I'm going to acquire all the items here. Uh, some may be with gold. <laughs> oh, we have a few. A refreshing jam. All right, that looks to be it. And some side quests. Oh, what do we got going on here? That'll do. Oh, it's Ogan! I should see you through. That fever comes back, though. Take this twice a day till it subsides. Thank you so much. We're so lucky to have a skilled apothecary pass through our village. No need for thanks. It's my job out. It's my job is all. Um, sir, if I may ask. Was I ever your patient before? Not that I remember, but I move about a lot. I feel like I met you before, long, long ago. Could be. Like I said, I move about a lot. I did stay in this village for a time, earning my keep as an apothecary. When I lost my wife, I left this place. I was on the road for a long time after that. After all these years, though, I guess the fancy just struck me and I thought I'd stop by, see the old place. I'm glad to hear it. Hope you'll stay with us this time. Forever. Melissa. Soon it'll be the anniversary of the day I lost you. Is that why my feet brought me back here? Not like I've got any right to face you again, even if I could. Ogden's Epilogue. Huh. Interesting. So maybe we can get some more stories with uh, some of the NPCs we've met. If we finished Chapter 4, I bet. Because we finished... Alfin's story. He may be here. Huh. Very intriguing. I right, might have to see what we can do about that. What ho? My house, the great noble, the great house of Byron, has a noble lineage. Not that many would know it now to look at us, how far we have fallen. I even had to part with the precious ring that was our family's heirloom. Seemed our great house will truly end with me. Heirloom of a high house. Things are looking up! Wouldn't believe the deal I got on this ring. That fellow was desperate. Drove him right down till he's practically paying me to take it. Had to sell it off to a peddler of such things. Got a better price than what I paid for it at least. So somebody has that ring. Somebody, some peddler. I mean, it could be any. <laughs> oh, let's see if we can run into Well it. met. I travel in search of tales and legends of the noble dragons, and I might put them down in a book. Or I would, but my master has asked me to assist him with his own work. So I cannot yet set out to investigate the three great dragons of the Sorry. world. Sorry. Assist me in my research. I would know about the great dragons found in the Frostlands. That's here. Clifflands and the Highlands. I'd be greatly obliged if you could do this for me. Really, I would. Here be dragons. Speed 80. And the item is again behind a person. Greeting to ye. Greeting. Greetings. Okay. Uh, like I said before, we ran into Ogin, which is, again, very interesting. 
I'm going to cut the video here, try to get some items, and then we will start chapter four for Ethereum. So, see you in a bit. Okay, grabbed just about everything I wanted to, including the uh, stat boosting items. Maybe say, you're never going to use those. Huh, you are incorrect. Because I'm going to use them right now. <laughs> Maximum SP. Work needs a little more. I was hoping to get more of that. Physical attack. Massively increased physical attack. Physical defense. Greatly increases elemental attack. Massively increases elemental attack. Elemental defense. Greatly increases elemental defense. Massively increases elemental defense. Accuracy. Greatly increases accuracy. Evasion. Greatly increases evasion. Critical hit rate. Greatly increases critical hit rate. Massively increases critical hit rate. Speed. Greatly increases speed. Massively increases speed. And there we go. Boost for the party. Oh, the people that are usually in the party. Kind of the mainstays of the party. Awesome. Now I did find the sword, one of the NPCs had it. Good day. Memorial sword. Your sword? <gasps> this is my father's sword. Such heavy steel. Just holding it, there's no doubting its strength. <gasps> you there. Where did you get that sword? This sword belonged to my father once. And you are... I was saved by the man who wielded that sword. So you are the son of that great hero. You... You knew my father? Oh, I... He saved my entire village long ago when we were set up by wild beasts. We had no one to help us, none but a traveling knight of the Knights Ordante, who happened to come through our village. The village leaders begged that he might see us to safety. And that fine knight agreed at once, not a soul perished. But he did not consider his duty done then. He even entrusted his sword to the village. He instructed us to sell the fine steel and use the money to buy food and seeds. By the laws of the Knights Ardante, a knight must never abandon his duty under any circumstances. And throwing aside one's sword, no matter how worthy the cause, is considered desertion. It is considered desertion of the cause. That is what I've heard, and still that great man. He accepted such dishonor without hesitation to aid perfect strangers such as ourselves. I set out to learn the sword myself because of your father. He is what made me into the man I am today. I was never able to rise to the heights of the Knights or Dante, but I am able to keep clothes on my back at least, living as a hired sword. So that is the truth of it. My father saved a village, and for that he was stripped of his cloak and his knighthood, and declared a deserter. He was every inch the great and honorable man I knew him to be.
When a knight enters the knight's or Dante, he swears an oath to protect those who seek the warmth and comfort of the sacred flame brought down by Alfred himself. That oath has not changed since the very first Knight Ardante said the words over the sword he received from the gods themselves. I, I will swear my own oath upon the sword of my father to be a knight of honor like my father. I thank you, sir. At last I know the true measure of my father. Words cannot express my gratitude, but they are all I have to offer. Ardante attire, 11,000 leaves, and nourishing nut large. And that is the truth of what happened to Sir Miles' father. He wasn't this deserter and disgrace that everybody made him out to be. He took it all to save a village as a, a true knight. I'm glad we did that one. To, uh, to feel that sense of pride in his father that that he's feeling is, is great. One hundred and eight physical defense, one hundred and eighty six elemental defense, and max SP. Hmm. That is not bad at all. There are other characters who can use this. Not a bad piece of equipment at all. Again, that was great. I'm glad we did that. That's what I was talking about at the end of last episode. Those side side stories that are kind of more lengthy where we follow the journey, these small journeys of other characters is, is really great. And I'm not going to get to them all but in, in this playthrough, but they're worth seeing and just add even more to a game that already has a lot going on between having eight character stories. You arrive in Northreach, a town under Darius's control. Still, you are determined to retrieve the emerald and gold dragon stones. Now, Therian is woefully underleveled, but thankfully the rest of the party is not. Hopefully we'll get some levels for him along the way. Story so far. Infiltrating the black market in Wellspring in pursuit of the second Dragonstone, Therian was reunited with Darius, his erstwhile partner in crime, who swiftly vanished, stone in hand. What's with those pitiful minces, so cold and guarded, distrusting and wary? Therion could not deny what Darius had said. He had sworn to trust no one. He would not be betrayed again. But even as he made his way to Northridge, Cordelia's words wouldn't leave him. Mr. Therion, I have faith in you. And so it was that he arrived, finally arrived at his journey's end. Hmm. So this is Northridge. Oh, what do we have here? <laughs> And it's eager to make a first impression. Oh! Stop! Those are my. <laughs> Not anymore, they ain't. Ha! End it over. That's messed up. <sighs> Thieves! Someone stop them! Nope, nobody's doing a darn thing. Or. Sorry to say, but ain't no one gonna stop those thieves. Aren't there guards in this town? Truth be told. Even the guards won't lay a fink won't lay a hand on them. That's just how life is here. Best not to get too attached to anything. Man, terrible. But I see. A thief's paradise, huh? Is 
Justice Darius is doing. Everyone here is living in fear. Oi. It's him. Huh. Yeah, no doubt about that. Uh, uh... Yeah, we we're lucky. He's just come to use the bog. Yeah. Hmm. Hey. Give me a glass of your best. Uh, huh? Whatever uh, best. Actually, uh, we're out of energy then. We're close for the day. Best be on your way now. Sure. Guess I'll show myself out. This is... Is this me? They didn't even get my best angle. <laughs> ah, the wanted poster up there. Just to the left of where it says beware right now. Beware. Any involvement with this man will be considered direct opposition to Lord Darius. Lord Darius. <laughs> Lord Darius. See, I already made that joke. Me and Theory, same, same wavelength. I guess he really does rule this town. Well, we're gonna have to cut that rule short. Maybe. I don't know what Theory would do. I wouldn't be opposed to that. Come here, find you. <laughs> you got some guard, you got some marching in this town. Come again? And you are, wait, don't tell me. You're Darius's welcoming committee, aren't you? <laughs> I will make sure you get the warmest of welcomes. Boys! <laughs> I suppose quality over quantity doesn't mean much here. <laughs> that was good, Therion. That was good. <laughs> and thankfully, he's not alone if this goes into a battle. He has the uh, Archmage. Sorcerer Supreme. <laughs> if we stab you enough times, you'll still die. <laughs> Can't disagree with that, but you have to hit him first. You're thinking you can stall for time by yapping? Ain't nobody coming to save you. Even if you scream bloody murder. Hi, right, friends. That's right. Best give up oh now. Everyone here fears Lord Darius. Interesting. So, what's it like leeching off of someone else's power? Shut up! Let's do it! Kill him! <laughs> you ready for this? Let's see. Peacock's front. Let me just need theory on the stage. Come on. How about you? It does not look like it's going to be a problem. Let's take a guess. There's the logical force of action. Light. Lux, Ooh, guessed correctly. Oh, you're just gone. I'll do my best. Well, in that case, bye. Made a sacred flame shine forth. The flame guides us true. Ulbrich levels up. Theron gets like half a level, so that's good. Are we done here? Enough. I got bigger fish to fry. <laughs> Enjoy your victory while you can. Cause there's no way you're leaving this town alive.
This is getting old fast. <laughs> you ready to die, mate? That'll be slow and painful for you, that's for sure. Nowhere left for you to leg it. Oh, I beat all you. I'm starting to see the appeal of quantity over quality. <laughs> starting to see the appeal when you have that many people. It's fine. Throw them all at once. These odds are bad anyway I look at them. Oh dear. That look of resignation is unbefitting of you. Cut down. Well, I'll be damned. <laughs> I'll be damned. He's like, he's coming. I don't suppose you could have gotten here a little sooner? Good to see you again. You can thank me later. Come now. For now, follow me. Got it. Right. You don't have to tell me twice. Don't let him get away. After him! We should be safe here. Are you okay? In a manner of speaking, yes. But I'm afraid I'm not as young as I used to be. When I was your age, I never imagined time would wear down my bones so. Age, the great equalizer. You're saying an old man slipped this bangle onto my arm without me noticing? That was simply a skill I learned in my youth. But time will take even that from me eventually. Where did you learn how to do that? Butler training? <laughs> well, butlers can do lots of things. <laughs> you were a thief, weren't you? Guilty as charged. Now it all makes sense. You're the one who set those traps in the manor, aren't you? You understand how a thief thinks, because you were one. An astute observation. Huh. I suppose I should explain myself. Would you humor this old man for a moment? I met Lord Ravis, Cordelia's father, before she was born. I was something like you at that time. Youthful, gifted, and proud of it. I was certain there was nothing in this world I could not steal. Then why are you working for the Ravis family now? For the same reason as yourself. I, too, snuck into the manor, only to get caught by the head of the household. He offered me a deal. He said he would not hand me over to the guards, on one condition. That one day I would serve his child, who would have guardianship over the Dragonstones. And now, you're seeing that promise through to the end. The more confidence one has in his skills, the greater the disgrace when he fails. Well, that's true. You felt the same, did you not? Of course. Whenever I look at this bangle, I remember that day. Outdone by a butler. And an old one at that. And to add insult to injury, I was shown mercy by the very one I tried to rob. It was absolutely disgraceful. In the end, I had no choice but to start anew. Hmm. Even still, I gained more than I lost in the manor that day. Without taking a single leaf, Indeed, I learned what it felt like to be believed in, and the value of believing in others. <sighs> I'm sure you've heard the story of Miss Ravis's past. Yeah, 
Hard to imagine seeing the person she is now. There was a time she thought the whole world was her enemy. She wouldn't let anyone get close. But as the days passed, she began to change. How so? I continued to have faith in her, and thus she learned to have faith in me. Wounds of betrayal run deep, but one must learn to have faith in others again before they can start to heal. And that is why she decided to have faith in you, too. Just like someone did for her. That's enough talk of the past. You must find a way to get those stones back from Darius. Me? Yes. Unfortunately, my old bones would be nothing but a hindrance if I accompanied you. But I have faith you can do it. I'll come back with those stones. You have my word. Stay safe, Heathcote. Now to find where Darius is hiding. There's no way he covered all his tracks. And you can see um, Darian starting to change as well. Yeah. You look like you wanted to say something. Mm. The expression on your face, it would seem you found your answer. My answer? <laughs> Maybe I have. It is a good thing to s set one's mind at ease. Is it not invigorating to allow yourself to trust another? Maybe it is. I guess it's never too late to learn something new. It's true. <sighs> Darion, you have borne a heavy burden. It is what it is. But I know holding grudges against others won't change the past or right my wrongs. There's no point in crying over yesterday. It's what I do today and tomorrow that counts. So, spare me your sermons and your sympathy. I would not presume to offer either. All I meant to say is that, despite your circumstances, you resent no man in this world. That is no common thing, for resentment abides in nearly all our hearts. <laughs> never thought of it that way. Just never saw much point in holding grudges. Simple as that. Well, oh, there's one. Maybe. <laughs> well, this is ironic. I'm the most wanted man here, but I haven't stolen a thing. Yet. <laughs> huh. Any trace of him yet? <sighs> Not yet, sir. Vanished like a white wolf in a snowstorm, he did. Nah. And you'll be the next one to vanish if you don't stop your whining. Now Lord Darius promised a reward for his capture. So if you ever want to see real riches, you better well find him. Yes, sir. Get back to work. Sure sounds important. Right? <laughs> exactly. He probably knows the way to the hideout. Church. 
Interesting. An abandoned church? Nothing seems out of order. Except maybe these stairs. Their hideout isn't there. I don't know where it could be. But I can't just waltz through the front door. Time to get to work. Time to find myself a disguise. Steel Thief's Clothing. We'll just steal merchant's clothing. Do it lock style. <laughs> you. Hang me. I hope someone finds them soon. Else we'll be getting an airfoil from the boss again. <laughs> <laughs> A small fry. This should be easy. Hey, hey looking for me? <gasps> The hell with you. Damn right I am. And knock out. Oh, nope. <laughs> Lost him. Wow. Where the hell did he go? And it looks like I'm technically in front of him. Oh, man. 3%. Darn it. Because this level's so low. Hmm. Hey. Hey, looking for me? <laughs> Come in. You're mine now, seasoned thief. Where'd he go? <laughs> I lost him. Worst chance. Now three. Well, darn. <laughs> All right. Do this the hard way. If I'm gonna have the same terrible, the same terrible uh, chance for both, I'm gonna, I want the fancy one. <laughs> How much to restore reputation? One K. That's fine. I I can pay a K instead of reloading just to try to save us a little bit of time. Here you go, come on. Get that 3% chance. No again. Keep trying, I got some time here at the end of this episode. <laughs> A low percent chances that you can see how long it takes me to normally steal stuff <laughs> and why when I tell you I got something you know first second try it's such a huge thing that I'm just you know saying it you know, I sound really excited well that's why because this is how stealing normally goes and I either reload the game over and over or 
pay the pay the fee. It's not too much. And it's just time consuming. Oh, we're, we're having no luck now. As soon as I end the episode and try, boom, I'll get it. <laughs> Thankfully, it's just 1K here. We spent 4k so far. Man, that's not bad. Nothing. Alright, one more time and then I'm gonna end the episode. <laughs> and now just take however long it takes for me to get it off screen and well continue the story next time I'd like to get it so we can go a little further now If I was using theory on any had a higher level, this probably wouldn't be anywhere near as bad a chance. Okay. So that'll do it for this episode. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Hope you had a lot of fun. <laughs> Woo! Wow. I'll, I'll get the bandit leader's garb and we'll continue on next time. Until then, I'm Sundray9. Remember to shoot for the stars and take care everyone. <laughs>